Facelifts are about moving tissue to an uplifted position where it used to be in, in youth. It's also about restoring what we call volume to the face. Sometimes we add fillers, sometimes we add fat graft at the time of facial rejuvenation. The technique I use, I call a short scar lift. In the past, patients requiring facelift had incisions way in the hairline, behind the ear, and all the way back. Now we're able to do the same type of thing through it, the sideburn area. So because it looks like a lazy S, I call this a short scar lift or an S lift. So the 3D imaging from Canfield, which is an international photo archive and 3D imaging system, has been an invaluable tool for us in talking to patients about expectations. When you see your own image in three dimensions, rotated on a screen of how you might look with the techniques that are being described, it really is a wow factor. Generally, patients who are good candidates for facial rejuvenation are men and women between the ages of approximately 40 to 80. A majority of the patients really start with non-surgical techniques for rejuvenation in their 40s, and then by their 50s and 60s, they're ready for surgical techniques for rejuvenation. That varies based on a lot of genetic factors. The best results go unnoticed. The idea behind what we do is to achieve natural results, and we're constantly striving for techniques that help us get there. Surgical results for face lifting, S lift, or facial rejuvenation last for about seven to 10 years. During that time, it doesn't go back to what it originally was. It never returns to that, but you continue to age. There is sometimes a revision and a secondary procedure that can be done over the years. We do ancillary procedures to preserve the results. Energy-based devices that help tighten the skin, Vervaci, microneedling, radio frequency microneedling, Ulthera, which is ultrasound therapy, fillers, Botox, they all help preserve. Working on the skin surface through good skin care, regular medical facials and, and products prescribed by a, a qualified uh, esthetician like we have here at the Plastic Surgery Group is critical to maintain the results of the surgical uh, techniques that we use.